All right, Pisces, let's get another reading. Let's see what's going on with the Piscean Collective. Get a message. Keep in mind that this message is a collective reading, so not every message will resonate with you guys every single time. Keep with it. Leave the rest. We're going to be getting four cards. We're going to clarify them. See what's going on with the Pisces. So you got communicate in the reverse. Uh, compromise, forgive, and work it out. So some of you guys could be like reach energy. <laughs> Not communicating with someone. Some of you guys may not want to work something out. Or there could be no communication. You got Mercury retrograde in the reverse. So Mercury direct. Okay. Uh, which I think we are direct. But are we? Yeah, we are. Mercury is um, direct right now. Um, huh. That's interesting. I mean, I guess it depends on which way you look at it. All right, so we got gambling. Problems with addictions, gambling, uh, bad finances. And then moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Oh, and then moving on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. Okay, so some of you guys are moving on one, from one thing and moving into another. Hmm. Okay. Some of you guys are moving on from someone here who could have been gambling or has problems with addictions or just financial problems. I'm interested to see what this says. All right, so let's see. Yeah, this is like no reconciliation. Moving on to something new. Show me communicate in the reverse. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys are like, you guys are clear on what it is that you want. Clear on what it is that you desire. You got two aces. This is a new beginning, okay? I know what I want. I know what I desire. Uh, physically starting something new with the Page of Wands, Page of Swords. You guys may have even communicated this to somebody and then cut somebody's, cut it off, okay? Again, compromise in the reverse, forgive in the reverse, work it out in the reverse. No. <laughs> Show me Mercury retrograde, damn. The Ace of Swords could be a double-edged sword too, could be like a harsh cut off. Show me Mercury retrograde in the reverse. Oh, hair font and the Empress. Strong Taurus energy is here. So Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues. Uh, review everything, but it's in the reverse. So that's why I was like, that's interesting. Because usually when Mercury is in retrograde, there's c problems with communication. But considering that you got communicate in the reverse, it's like, no, nah, it ain't Mercury. You know, this is like somebody's like, no, I know what it is that I desire. I'm this empress. I'm sticking to my morals, my values, my beliefs. Okay. There's growth, abundance here. Some of you guys are teachers, healers, fathers, mothers. This is someone who's who's anointed. Okay. This is someone who's very, uh, has a close seat next to God. This is someone who's you know, has a strong belief system. This is somebody who's like, I know who I am. I know. Yeah. Anyways, show me gambling. Damn. Okay. Show me then Pisces. This is what I like to see. Show me gambling out here. Seven of swords. Legitimately. Uh... <sighs> Yeah, someone here is a risk taker, but in the raw and the worst ways. Okay, Seven of Swords is sneaky, deception, lies, thief, thieving, cheating. Bum buns, what are you doing? Yeah, bad finances. Show me, tell me more. One more for gambling. Knight of Pentacles. I don't know. Either someone's money's coming in slowly, or give me one more on this. Give me one on the Seven of Swords. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This can also be someone who is like slow to give. Three of Swords just showed itself. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, gambling. This is a heartbreaker. Someone who's, um, yeah, no shit. Anyways, keep that same energy, you know? Don't bring that shit near me. I feel like someone tried to come in and take take something from you. Or, you know, you may have more than someone else. Or you're someone who's very giving, very generous, very loving. You have a lot of growth and abundance around you. And even if you don't feel that way, you may have more than the next, than whoever this person is. Show me the Seven of Swords. The Five of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who's competing with you. This is someone who always has conflict or always has people around them. They're, this person always has some type of drama. Okay. Problems with addictions. Gambling. Bad. I was Five of Cups. This is someone who's depressed or has some type of maybe regret. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. Strong Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know what I'm picking up on? This could be somebody who has some type of status or wealth themselves. And this could be someone who shows up as someone who's very reliable, dedicated. Three of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Swords. What was that clarifying? Give me this King of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys have a King of Pentacles either coming in. Sagittarius is here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is someone who's stable, secure. I feel like there's something coming in. Or coming towards you. It could be coming in very slow. Or this is someone who's being sneaky trying to stop somebody from coming towards you, Pisces. Or trying to slow down a connection from coming in. That is very balanced, harmonious, peaceful, soulmate connection. Someone, You got someone here that's... Whatever. Same shit, different day. Show me moving. Change of residence. Moving in, moving in with your partner. Eight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Damn. Some of you guys are straight up like Sayonara Mutter Trucker. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> This is your energy, the high priestess. It's like moving in silence. This is you. Like I said, sayonara, motherfucker. <laughs> Look at this. Like moving. Some of you guys are legitimately like packing your shit up and moving. Like abandoning shit. Some of y'all could even be leaving with nothing. Like nothing but the clothes on your back. I don't know. But the eight of cups, the five of pentacles. And you got moving on and moving. So... You have been bewitched. Love spell. Oh, shit. Divorce. Experiencing a breakup. Date night. Ready to be wine and dine. Yeah. Date night. Some of you guys are, are... Some of you guys could be going through a divorce. I don't think it's with this King of Pentacles energy. I think that this is the new... Something new coming towards you. I'm going to make sure, but straight up, some of you guys are like literally moving in silence, moving on, disconnecting emotionally, abandoning a situation, leaving something, change of residence, okay, relocating. I feel like you're doing this, like you're keeping this to yourself.
Moving on. Yeah, you guys are moving on. But with this love spell energy, who's this love spell energy spirit? Who's doing who's out here doing love spells? Who's out here bending people's free will? Somebody who you rejected? Four of Cups. Nine of Cups. Six of Coins. Be careful with anybody who's trying to give you something, give you a gift. Like that could be how someone's doing love spells. Like maybe they're attaching something to something and trying to give it to you. I see rejecting it if that's the case. Who's this King of Pentacles energy to Pisces? Who's this King of Pentacles energy to Pisces? King of Wands, someone who's very attractive, an entrepreneur, a go-getter, a visionary. This is a leader. I feel like this is somebody who has some type of status or someone who's financially stable, balanced, tempered, patient. Okay. Six of Cups. Somebody from a past life, maybe? Or a past situation? This is somebody who may have had their eye on you for some time, and they're wanting to come towards you. Full card, Page of Swords. Show me who this... Oh, shit. Show me who this Seven of Swords, Five of Wands energy is. Who is this person? The Moon... Someone who has a lot of secrets. I know I flipped my deck. Okay. Pisces or Cancer, Pete, possibly. The Five of Swords. Good Lord. Whoever this person is, I don't know. Page of Wands in the reverse. It's someone who has poor plans, bad ideas. Uh, this is someone who could be very flirtatious, um, childish, five of swords. This is someone who I feel like they could gossip a lot or they, um, whatever they're planning is not going to go according to plan. If this person is trying to sabotage you by doing something under the moon or doing something in secret, their plan is going to be non-existent. Like, their plan is not going to work. Page of Wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles. That's a Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to stop you from going towards someone who's very uh, full in the reverse to the King of Cups. This is someone who's trying to like stop you from taking some type of a leap of faith towards someone who is stable, grounded, mature, loving. What's this Queen of Pentacles energy? Yeah, Five of Cups. This could be someone who regrets, like, not... Okay, what do they regret? Whatever. Queen of Swords. This, per this is someone who has regrets because I feel like you've cut this person off. Or you maybe have spoken your truth. You could be very cold and direct to this person. What else does this person regret? I also feel like this person regrets not offering you something secure or stable, but they've got some 
This person has like a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. They're sneaky. They're deceptive. This person could even be vindictive, codependent. <laughs> this person regrets not securing a position or a, a something with you. Your seven of wands sun card. It's like they're trying to block your happiness. I feel like you made a decision here to end it and start over and have some have some type of new beginning. There goes that emperor energy. I um I don't know exactly who this is. You know, for all of you guys, it's not going to be the same person. At least I hope not. But uh. That's that's the energy that's showing up. I feel like you guys are very clear on wanting something new. At least the energy I'm picking up on. There's a strong energy of you like physically moving, disconnecting, just like walking away from a situation emotionally, physically, financially. Uh, something here could have made you feel financially depleted. You may be keeping that to yourself, but this is like the Six of Swords. It's like you're being guided to move, to transition, even if you go broke doing it, which I don't feel like you'll be broke when you live in the energy of, you know, the Empress. It's like, um, you know, that energy will be replaced, replenished. And some of you guys have somebody new coming in. Um a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, who's going to be very direct and straightforward with you. This could be coming in rather quick as soon as you disconnect from a situation. You're moving towards something more committed and stable and grounded. You're moving towards like a true commitment, not somebody who, um, I feel like somebody fumbled somebody, like somebody played with something and they lost or they played with something or someone, I should say they played with someone to see how far they could take something and they lost that person. And now they want to block you from being happy, possibly, but I don't think it's going to work. I think that someone is just straight up moving, moving on with their life. Someone is unavailable. I feel like you're unavailable. It's a waste of time. It's over. Be careful with anybody trying to do any type of love spells on you. Yeah, some of you guys could have just gone through some type of a ending or a divorce and you're going out on a date, love, a lost loved one who watches over you, give it time, everything in divine timing, let things flow, and then commitment. Things are getting serious, intuition, confession, patience. Yeah, good things come to those who. All right, Pisces, um, let's get a few more cards. What else um, can Pisces expect in the coming days? What is the energy surrounding Pisces that they may need to know, be aware of, that can help them? What can help Pisces moving forward? You guys got perspective. If you change the way you look at things, you could see everything in a brand new light and it will help you get to where you want to be. And then you got rewards. You are cashing in on all the good that you've done. Raises, bonuses, and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. And you've got direction. Your purpose is unfolding slowly. Step by step, as you go along, there is no need to hurry or worry. You are being divinely guided. And that's that Six of Swords. Um, that's all of this reading, pretty much. Drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job that you want may have too much upheaval to bear. 
keep emotions and gossip in check. Okay, so be aware of drama starters, which is that Seven of Swords, Final Wands that we've seen. I feel like you're completely aware of it. Um, connections. Build bridges between people. Contact those who can help you. Your actions set up, um, set you up for your next opportunity. So start building bridges to, to, to get you to where you want to go. Okay? Making meaningful connections with people. Shedding. You are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well in healing and medicine and locked your work. Work on what you, okay, work on what, where can I, work you want may not be in reach now. You can take a temp position while you await an opening. Your new place offers job security. So there's definitely, within work and love, I feel like there's something here. Maybe that's what that king of pentacles in, that, that there could be, um, let me try to see that in another way. Um. Oh, I mixed them up. King of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like as soon as you disconnect from one situation, and it could be a love situation, I feel like if your finances has been coming in slow with that Knight of Pentacles, once you disconnect from one situation, you're going to be blessed with something else. Like there's that King of Pentacles can be like a financial advisor, a boss, someone who's, you know, good with money, um, someone of some type of status or ranking. <laughs> People skills. You have the flair for working well with others. You could be a diplomat, counselor, salesperson, or head of company. Um, yeah, some of you guys, I feel like once you disconnect from a situation <clears throat> where there's drama, sneaky behavior, or a situation that you know isn't for you, which I see you completely doing that, cutting out communication, you may even speak your truth and then cut something out and physically go towards something new. There's going to be a new opportunity for you that comes in. So if you feel like you're leaving a situation broke as fuck, depleted, like I did say, then there's as soon as you do do that, make the right choice, make the best choice for you. Something is going to come back in that Knight of Swords, King of, Pe King of Pentacles. Something's going to come in Pisces. So I love you guys so much. I hope that this reading helped you. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.